The UCSC today has built up its resources, both human and equipment, that could stand up to any university in the world. Everybody here works not as individuals, but as part of a team of the organization, the UCSC, as well as the equipment that gradually were introduced to the University of Colombo, helped us at that time to provide a service to the outside world in addition to teaching our own students. There's nothing that you could do alone, but there's much, much more that you could do together. And in doing something for the country, for your institution, or for that matter for your family, it is important that you work together. My whole life I have been maybe destined to work in that manner. So we see that we realize the agency through this phenomena and the UCSC through EBIT are more or less the same objectives. And I believe the audience here coming from academia, the industry and others would also feel that they are part of this. Quite naturally so, because as was mentioned earlier, there is enough of the pain for everybody. This technology is to be shared. We are the concept the Bachelor of Information Technology extend between our 63 graduates who thus become the first graduates receiving a first degree as students of the UCSC. Well, it's uh, the second time today that I'm meeting you because this morning uh, the participants visited the ICT agency and uh, we discussed matters beyond this course about how we can help the country. Two commissioners of elections are here. I am indeed honored that they are here because, as the Chancellor mentioned, 25 years ago we took a bold step to recommend to the then Commissioner of Elections, Mr. Chandananda Bisilva, appropriately named the Commissioner, that we'll try to produce election results by computer, genuine results, not. Uh, of course, he won't hear anything of that sort, but uh, we were able to persuade him. He had trust and for 25 years we have continued, not just the same old way, but every time improving the technology. And that's something that I could not have done alone. And as I said earlier, unfortunately we don't advertise like soap. Uh, to say we are the greatest, but it is up to you to realize that and spread the message. So once again, let me wish you all the very best in your four, three or four years of education. Uh, and also after that, good employment to serve the country and the world at large. All the best.
or tied her head of anything, and I already shot in the back. <laughs> I'm sure you yourself was ahead of your time, and well, you almost got the paper rejected. I, um, in some ways, have been ahead of my time, I guess. Uh, in, um, one time, I, I think in one of my early books, I said, I hope to go to the moon <laughs> in my own lifetime, but I'm afraid I'll, <laughs> I'm not going to make that. <laughs> Yes, what do you say about Sri Lanka and Sri Lankans? Well, you know, I'm often asked why I live in Sri Lanka, and the quick answer I always give is uh, 30 English winter. The Institute of Computer Technology of the University of Colombo, at that time, looked into ways and means of producing more IT professionals on the short term. And as one possible way, a graduate training program was launched, whereby graduates in subjects other than computing were trained through a very short but intensive course, including industrial training, to prepare graduates suitable for the IT industry. Immediately after that, as a further step, Plans were made to introduce an external degree in IT called UCSC are the best. I also like to thank the partners, both present here today as well as others who have contributed, for their support. And I do hope that we will be able to continue the good work, not as vigorously as we would have been doing when we were young, but at least we would be able to take this forward and see, as the Chancellor mentioned, that not only the UCSC but the whole country would benefit from this concept of partners in progress, which I think would help the country of ours, the beloved Sri Lanka of ours, come out of the, the situation we are in today so that our future generation could live and enjoy life in the future. Finally, I started with my parents. I said that they were my first partners. There are also others who would be my last partners. That's my family, my wife and my two children. Even if all of you desert me, I'm sure that they will remain with me. And they have been a strength to me because they have allowed us me to work hard day and night with other partners, sometimes ignoring the more important partners, your own family. But I'm sure they believe that they have also benefited at least from the fact, at least from the satisfaction that something has been achieved. So let me thank my wife and my children who are not here also for their tolerance and for, the bearing, for bearing with me while 
as Gertie said, I was doing multitasking uh, with other work. Thank you very much. Let's uh, wish all of you a very pleasant evening and a good future in time to come.